Based on its output function and the prices of variable and fixed factors, we have already calculated our pizzeria's average and marginal cost curves. Graphing these figures produces a picture like this. In an earlier video, we learned the output rule for profit maximization. The firm should produce the quantity of output at which marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Recall why this is so. Marginal revenue is the additional revenue the firm earns from selling one more unit of output. Marginal cost is the additional cost the firm incurs from producing one more unit of output. If marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost, then the extra revenue the firm earns from selling another unit of output exceeds the extra cost the firm incurs from producing that unit. So if the firm produces and sells one more unit, its profit will increase. If marginal revenue is less than marginal cost, then the revenue the firm loses from selling one less unit of output is less than the cost the firm saves from not producing that unit. So if the firm produces and sells one less unit, its profit will increase. If marginal revenue equals marginal cost, then the firm is producing and selling the right quantity of output. We call this the profit maximizing output level. The reason we say tens is because firms are run and staffed by people, and people make errors. Consequently, firms won't always produce at the profit maximizing output level, but they will want and strive to produce at the profit maximizing output level. Suppose our pizzeria is a price taker. That means that the pizzeria has no control over the market price of pizza. Price takers face intense competition. So if our pizzeria were to charge more than its competitors, no one would buy its pizza. Price takers also sell a small quantity of output relative to the total quantity sold in the market. This means that as long as it doesn't charge more than its competitors, our pizzeria can sell all the pizza it produces. Consequently, our pizzeria has no incentive to charge less than its competitors. As a price taker, the pizzeria doesn't have to make any pricing decisions. It simply charges the same price as its competitors, no more and no less. Suppose all the pizzerias are charging $11.25 a pizza. If our pizzeria sells one pizza, it receives $11.25 in revenue. If it sells two pizzas, it receives $22.50 in revenue. If it sells three pizzas, it receives $33.75 in revenue. No matter how many pizzas it sells, each additional pizza brings in an additional $11.25 in revenue. We say that the pizzeria's marginal revenue is $11.25. Since profit maximizing output occurs where marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal, we can look for the output level at which the pizzeria's marginal cost is also $11.25. That is the pizzeria's profit maximizing output level. The output level at which marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal is 83 pizzas per day. Putting the information on a graph gives us a picture like this. Notice that the point at which MR equals MC drop down from there to the horizontal axis to find the profit maximizing output level. Here are some other things we know. When the pizzeria produces 83 pizzas per day, its total cost is $640 per day. Its total revenue is $933.75 per day. So its economic profit is $293.75 per day. We can also find this information on the graph. We know that the firm is producing 83 pizzas per day. Follow 83 up to the average total cost curve to find the firm's average total cost of $7.71 per pizza. If the firm is selling its pizza for $11.25 each, and they cost on average $7.71 each to produce, then the firm is earning an economic profit of $3.54 per pizza on average. The shaded area represents the firm's economic profit. Now that you know how to use marginal revenue and marginal cost, let's think about what happens to our pizzeria if the price of pizza falls. Suppose the price of pizza falls to $9. Step one is to find the point at which marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Step two 
is to follow that point down to the horizontal axis to find the profit maximizing output level. According to the graph, our firm's profit maximizing output is now 79 pizzas per day. Step three is to follow the profit max output back up to the average total cost curve, where we find the firm's average total cost to be $7.34 per pizza. So the firm is earning an average of $1.66 in economic profit on every pizza it sells. Step four is to measure the area between the price and the average total cost. This area is the firm's economic profit. The economic profit shown here is $131.14. You've seen how specialization and congestion give rise to marginal and average product. You've seen how marginal and average product give rise to marginal and average cost. Now we have combined marginal and average cost with the price of the product to determine how the firm will behave.